Video Notes is a really simple, easy to use tool and it enables note taking right on the screen while you're watching a video simultaneously. Uh, has lots of potential for students, um, for anyone who wants to learn from um, videos, take notes from videos, and it's also fully integrated with Google Drive. So as you take these notes, the notes are actually time stamped and synced with the video so that you can go back and loop back into the video based upon the notes that you've taken. And they're fully archived into your Drive, uh, Google Drive, and you can also share those notes with anyone that you wish, just like any other document uh, or content item shared in your Google Drive. Um, the videos that you can use in video notes um, would, well, I should say it would work with, um, with videos from Coursera, Udacity, edX, Khan Academy, Vimeo, and YouTube for now. Um, of course, it's in beta form, so there's probably lots of changes on the horizon. So I'm just going to, rather than showing you from the ground up, because it's super easy to get started with, um, and I, I want you to play on your own, I'm going to show you one that I've actually done already. So this is my Google Drive, and um, I saved it, to, I saved mine in my Google Drive as Notes Test, and it automatically created a folder in my Google Drive called Video Notes, and the um, notes is titled Notes Test. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up, and this is what it looks like. Um, over on the left, you'll see the video load that I pulled into this Video Notes, and it was a matter of basically pasting a URL from YouTube in there. This is actually um, a brief little screencast video lecture that I use in my online history photography class. And what I did was I played the video through and I simply typed notes as I listened to the video over here on the right. And so what I wanted to show you is, for example, if I was a student now and I was preparing for some kind of test or discussion or project and I needed to review this content, I could review my notes by reading them. So let's say that I wanted to go back and review this point number two here at three minutes and 22 seconds. I could simply click on it and it would start to um, it would sync back to that point in the video and I could click play and it would play. Choice to sensitize that glass plate. You see photographer Michael Gray here in this video produced by the British Gallery demonstrating this process. In 1849, Frederick Scott Archer discovered that collodion co coated glass plates recorded highly detailed latent images at a significantly reduced exposure time than the daguerreotype process. So you can review the content very easily by looping right back into the video just by clicking on um, the timestamp. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's, you know really fabulous um, and you can think about all the different ways this is going to support learners who learn at different speeds due to you know multiple reasons students who are um, English as a second language learners uh, students who have cognitive challenges cognitive um, learning d uh, differences all kinds of all kinds of students will be supported by this um, and so I think that this is really, really exciting tool and um, I was really excited to share it with everybody.